Well, I think, again, that can change from week to week, depending, you know, as part of the worship service, you know, all of the different things that lead up to certain moments play into how that moment feels for people. And of course, we all feel things in different ways. Um, we all come in on a Sunday morning in a different place. You know, somebody may be very, had something very tra traumatizing happen to the day before. Someone may be very joyful. Um, but so all these people come together with different things, but we all as musicians try to come together to you know, communicate whatever it is, the emotion or the feeling of that particular piece that day. Um, you kind of have to put aside yourself a little bit. You know, and I think one of the things that uh, I became obvious during the pandemic and very painfully clear is that being a part of these musical groups, um, it's something you can't recreate on your own. You know, you can do music by yourself, you can sing at home by yourself or whatever, but part of an ensemble, there are things that you just can't do on your own. And when those things were lost to us during the pandemic, it became very obvious, you know, what we were missing out on. You know, the social aspect of it, the musical aspect of it. Um, the, you know, even during rehearsals sometimes, I've seen people move to tears, you know, and especially, you know, sometimes in a service or a concert. and. Those are things that are difficult to recreate outside of the outside of the group and the situation. And so and I think that's why people keep coming back to things.